If you're a wallet aficionado or happen to crawl through leather making videos here on YouTube, then you've likely come across Quarter Leather. Eric Hines, the owner and maker's first wallet he ever made, his first design is what we're reviewing today, the Snap Wallet. Now it's kind of a cowboy biker wallet for sure, but the quality of the construction and design thinking is excellent. So what do Japanese Red Moon's wallets and Quarter Leather have in common? Hey, does anyone call you the Space Cowboy? <laughs> Comes in a nice cotton bag. Let's open this up. There we go. This is the Snap Wallet. This is in saddle tan. It also comes in a natural color that's, just, that's uh, quite a bit lighter and other darker colors. Let's take a quick look here like we always do at the sewing and other details. This is that cast brass snap. Nice double stitching. Nice feel to the leather. I think we're going to like this one. Based in a solar powered studio in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, Eric got his inspiration from the Red Moon wallet created by Keiichiro Goto from Japan. And as you can see, it has a similar design and a button flare. But due to cost, he was unable to purchase a Red Moon, so Eric put one together himself in his dorm room on IKEA furniture, and quartered leather was born. For a feature review, we don't have anything on the exterior except we're going to call this, this is our little tether eyelet. That's right. It's meant for lanyards, chains, uh, tethers, yeehaw! And so it can attach to your pants, your belt loop, whatever you might want to attach it to. If we open it up, we come into our card slots. There are one, two, three, there are six card slots here in the front. They can hold one to two cards each once it stretches. And in the interior here, we have a billfold pocket, a fairly generous billfold pocket. And we'll notice that it doesn't open up completely at the end, which is nice, keeps uh, cash nice and secure. It measures 4.2 by 4 by 1.2 and it weighs 107 grams or 3.8 ounces of lovely leather. Now what if I told you Quarter Leather also sells a patented cast bottle opener? You notice they got six cards in there, nine slips of cash. The company makes no recommendation on cards, but each slot can really hold more once broken in. And it is very tight in the beginning. I kind of have to push them in, but that's the way it should be, so they don't become really sloppy. The fact that these are also uh, facing into the fold means that when closed, you'll have great security here. And of course, we saw a tremendous depth on the, uh, on the billfold pocket here for the cash. No concerns. Uh, this is designed and made in the United States. It's made from a full grain, veg tanned Herman Oak leather. But Eric also likes to use Wicket and Craig and Horween in different offerings that he also has. Um, it has this custom ca sand cast solid brass logo concho with, it's a plated brass snap where, uh, hardware here to resist rust. So you should get a lot of use out of this and not be too concerned if this happens to get wet. It is saddle stitched everywhere in this wallet. And you can see we've got double stitching with all of these card slots. And of course, in the corners where you'd expect to have all kinds of wear and pull, you've got great stitching going on to maintain that durability. Now I wanna point attention here to one particular feature, which is how these card slots build upon themselves. So they do go almost all the way to the bottom. However, if you had a card put in here, and you pushed it in, it would go all the way to the bottom. So how does Eric maintain in this wallet that staggered look? Well, it's done through sewing. That's, that's uh, right here at the bottom. Let me show you what that looks like. If you can see right, right here, see that stitch right down there? That stitch also has another stitch above it right there, okay? Now, 
What that does is that stitch provides the backstop when a card goes in. Card goes only so far, stitch hits it, and it keeps that stagger going. You can kind of see that stitch on this opposite side right here. And so very clever in what it does. The other part of this I want to point out is how it uh, staggers. You've got this tab for each of these card slots, right? They don't fully lay on top of each other. You can see how this has its little tab, this little tab, and of course here's the bottom piece. Instead of completely laying on top of each other, and that way it keeps it thin, and you get the full support of the stitching as it goes along. The edges are also lightly sanded and very lightly burnished. Nothing uh, too fancy or too glossy. This wallet in particular is excellent, and it's priced at $125. From a usability perspective, it is a bit thick, and one that you should probably consider carrying with a chain or other tether just because of its size and you know where you might place it. You don't want to fall out and get lost. The snap provides uh, kind of this thicky profile here. That's where I did my measurement was right here. And that was 1.2 inches when it had those six cards and nine slips of cash in there. That said, it's easy to use. Cards once in the slots are broken in will be safe as I mentioned because they face the fold. And really uh, easy card and billfold ingress and egress. One of Quarter Leather's primary missions is to teach leatherworking, which is why you see so many excellent videos on their YouTube channel. To that end, they also sell their, their patterns so you too can create something great at home. Eric also sells leatherworking tools, and as I mentioned, this patented hook leather bottle opener you can use with your keys, tether, or anywhere else. For quality of five, price of two, still in the higher area, but on the edge due to it being handmade and of course done in the United States. Features a three, usability of four, very easy to use, and perception of five, because Eric's trying to make a difference, and that is important. That gives us a final score of 40 out of 50. Now please watch this video next if you like this one, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.